Welcome to what is probably the shortest talk in the whole conference. The reason this is the shortest talk in the conference is because I only have one point. It is a very simple point, but many, many, many people screw it up, so I thought it was worth talking about anyway. And after this, I'll have a video that I can point people to. So we are talking about package supplements. Who here knows about in packaging, you can have requires or recommends? Cool. How many of you also know that you can have supplements? A couple of you, that's good. So, for me to be talking about this, there must be a problem. And so, consider that you have the Vim plugin for Rails, which is arguably a bad choice, because we install Vim anyway on everything. But say you have a language plugin for whatever editor you want. That package is only useful if you have the editor installed and you're interested in that language. Or say you have the Squid plugin for Yast or many of the other slightly more obscure plugins for Yast that some people use lots, but most people don't use. Most people don't need them on their system, but um, lots of people end up with them. And why do lots of people end up with them? because we have the traditional OpenSUSE solution, which is rather than using suggests or supplements, sorry, we will just put a recommends in whichever we think is the least worst package. So Yast recommends 50 modules that I'm never going to use, for example, and my editor pulls in plugins and auto-completions for 50 languages I'll probably never use. And there are many other examples. But there is a better way than this. And that better way is supplements. So this is the important slide of my talk. You can use this RPM syntax. So supplements A and A client or Vim and Ruby Common Rails, which actually spent five minutes on this talk and found two packages that exist that it makes sense. Um, but that is the idea. Please use it. It will mean that everyone's installs will have far less things they never use. And I guess I could say that last year I refactored all the patterns, which is what we use for installation media. And this is where I discovered this problem. So now that I have told you the problem and how to fix it, everyone go away and fix your packages, please. Thank you. That is my talk. <laughs> I guess I should ask, is there any questions? Yes. Um, let's. Um, now I have to unmute it. There we are. So if I have understood well, supplements will be to the package that should be required by the main package, but yep. you will, we don't want to require it. Yep, yep. So you would add your supplement you would add your supplements to your Ruby Vim plugins or your Yast Squid package or so yes, the package the package that would make sense to be installed alongside the other two packages is where you put the supplements. So, because I'm thinking on uh, one problem I have, for example, uh, I'm using OpenQA. Yep. Uh, in some cases, I need to use an S390 backend, so I need to test on some machines. Yep. That is not the uh, usual case of one person using OpenQA. So normally, we don't want to require all the packages necessary needed to test on S390. And yep. then I have, uh, I would like to have these packages indicated somehow. So that would mean that those packages that I require for testing on S390 and only on S390, for those packages, I will use these supplements. It will be a good option, or this also um, wrong? In those option, in the case of different architectures, it's probably better in your spec file to only put the requires if architecture is S390 which there is a wiki page with a little list of them somewhere. Any other questions? 
So you said you reworked the patterns? I did rework the patterns. I broke lots of things. It was lots of Will fun. Will you do the same again in one year from now because it all turned again back to a bait state? Um, no, because I will push. I was naughty and didn't do factory first, but I'm now doing factory last. And so in whenever we get to whatever comes next, all the patterns will be more, will still be all split and all modular, so I won't have to do it again. Okay, and is there any way to introduce a check to prevent this kind of bad practices and rather s suggest this approach? Um, not really, because you can't really... At the moment, the way people fix it is by having lots of recommends, and really the, the only way you can check is by users installing stuff and going, why do I have all this crap and filing bugs? Or package maintainers knowing that they have that they are recommending things that they probably shouldn't really be. I don't think there's a way to automate it. Anyone else? All right. Thank you all for your time. Here is here is the important slide again. I will upload it somewhere and post it to a mailing list somewhere at some point. Thank you.